Chris Maxwell, campus pastor at Emmanuel College, and I'm excited about having an opportunity to interview Coach Scott Borchers. Scott, the Emmanuel soccer coach, it's great to have a chance to talk to you today. Uh, thank you. It's great to be here. Well, just uh, start by giving us a summary of the ladies' season. Uh, tell us some good news, some uh, difficult times throughout the season, but how uh, the season ended well in so many ways for you. Okay. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The women had a great year this year. Uh, we the turnaround from last year. Uh, we won four games last year. Just struggled with our uh, with our chemistry on the team, uh, and and this year's group was uh, was completely different than that. Uh, we had a great chemistry, great leadership uh, with our captains, uh, with our upperclassmen, uh, and even with uh, the the younger girls. Um, just just uh, just had a great great group of people. Um, they all were uh, on the on the same page every single day, whether it be training and game days. Uh, but they all they all worked very hard uh, and and really just uh, just took care of the task that was at hand. Um, I was, I would have to say that one of the things I was most uh, proud of the girls is that we had a saying this year is that, um, you know, we, we respect our effort every day uh, and make sure that everybody else respects our effort as well. And, um, you know, we, we did that uh, countless times. Uh, no matter who the opponent was, we just, we just went out and, and did what we needed to do. Coach, talk to us about some of the specific girls who were really – leaders for you this year that you look back and think um, what a difference they made on the team okay um, well of course our captains uh, Becky Moore and uh, Courtney Morgan uh, they were they were great leaders for us um, uh, Courtney was a fifth year senior for me uh, first first time I've ever had one of those uh, she was redshirted last year because of an injury but uh, her her leadership um, with with the girls, she was very good at bringing in the younger girls and making them feel like they were a part of the group. Um, and then just her wisdom, she she probably knew me better than any of the other players uh, because she she came with me from Truett McConnell where I was uh, previous to Emmanuel. Um, so she's been she's played for me for literally for five years. Uh, Becky Moore, uh, she's she's probably the one girl that thinks most like me. Uh, she just has a great soccer mind, uh, has a great heart for the game, um, but also is just a great spiritual leader for the girls as well. Uh, she's intense, uh, and, the, and some of the girls have trouble with that, but uh, that's, what, that's what I love about her is that she, she brings that same intensity that I, that I have a, sometimes have a hard time bringing across to the females, um, and she can bring that uh, for them. Uh, the other leaders that we that I felt like we had this year was uh, a senior, um, Amber Evans. Um, she was uh, a, just a great, wise, spiritual uh, woman uh, for these girls to to see. Um, she had a great, um, just a, a a great attitude about how the season went and how just to look at how her career went. Um, she broke down a, a major barrier between me and the girls as a, as a communication barrier and became that person to help me uh, realize the things that I needed to try to get uh, out of the girls and how to get those things out of the girls. Um, so she, she was a great, great leader for the girls as well. Uh, and then uh, <clears throat> along with the other upperclassmen, uh, I would say Lauren Moore uh, was a great leader. She's just a great encourager and her talent level uh, the ability that she brought, you know, made inspired the girls to want to play uh, harder and better at, you know, every time, uh, every time they stepped on the field. Well, summarize the men's season. Talk to us about uh, some of the games and uh, and the guys that were working so hard for you this season. Okay. Well, the men had an interesting year this year. It was uh, it was a bit of a rebuilding year when I look back on it. Um, we have uh, we we had, we only graduate two guys this year, um, and out of the twenty, uh, when I look back on it, it, out of the twenty guys that were on the team, it looks like we we should return anywhere from sixteen to seventeen guys, uh, which is going to be a major major uh, impact or a good size core for us. Um, but the guys, uh, I say it was a bit of a rebuilding year because we I thought we looked very good, we played very well, but we were just. The games that we lost, we had lost close games. 
Uh, we won some close games, but we lost more close games. Uh, and it wasn't because we we didn't take care of the things we were supposed to take care of. We just the ball just didn't bounce our way this year. Um, we had a lot of things happen for us last year in that way, um, but this year we just uh, it was just one of those years where we just we just couldn't you know just the little things just wouldn't happen right for us. Um, and those experiences, I think, help build the character for these guys, and uh, so they have a, a better understanding of what they're going to need to bring next year. Um, in particular games, you know, we, we played against uh, Lee University. Um, at, we hosted them this year, and it was probably one of our best games all year. Uh, the game could have gone either way. We ended up losing the game 1-0, one, one um, but we knew at that point that we could, we could play with anybody in the conference, and uh, you know, and then to see Lee go on and win the conference, um, you know, help that really helped build a lot of confidence, uh, a lot of confidence in the guys. So, um, so yeah, we're we're looking forward to next year. Well, it's it's great to be able to see um, so many of the students and those who are playing on your teams uh, with a variety of backgrounds different nationalities, uh, we have missionary kids, and we have people that uh, as they move here, this is the first time they've lived in the United States of America. So talk to us about how you bring diversity into this team, this oneness, this spirit of unity. Okay, yeah, well, uh, as those may know in the soccer community, uh, you know, it's, it, the soccer is definitely the, the biggest sport in the world. Um, so the the way I had been coaching previous, I I just really had this this mindset of trying to bring Georgia kids, Georgia kids, Georgia kids, uh, and uh, in the past the past year or two years, um, uh, it, it's kind of interesting. It's the the missionary kids. I I don't feel like I've really done much to get those kids. I feel like God has put those those kids in my lap, uh, and they've come here and they've just been amazing. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know, because you, you wonder. Uh, you know how a missionary kid or uh, the homeschool kid is going to do in a college setting, uh, but these guys, uh, these girls actually, uh, and one one male player, uh, they've done great, great transitions. Uh, they've been great kids, um, and then uh, the obvious, not not to make it cliche, but you know they're they're great spiritual leaders uh, for for the uh, for the rest of the team. Um, we. You know, this year I went out on a limb and kind of rolled the dice on a on a uh, Australian guy. I uh, didn't really know anything about him; just talked to him on the phone, saw him play a couple times um, through video footage and stuff, and uh, just getting to know him and, and learning his personality. I knew that he would fit with us, um, and he he really has. He's come in, and uh, once I think he he makes that transition to the American game, um, the American soccer game, then he he's going to be. He's going to be outstanding uh, for us. He was he was great for us this year, um, and I think he's making the transition well. But it just adds another another little flavor, you know. Uh, uh, adds a different kind of spirit, different kind of culture to the game, and uh, which is what I was trying to do. Is uh, you know we have Hispanic guys, we have African guys, we have Australian guys, and we have American kids as well. And it's just a matter of to me is trying to find the right mix to make that uh, you know to make the machine work well. Another uh, aspect of the big picture of what we want to see work well is understanding that there's more to life than this game. And so many athletes and so many uh, athletic departments just emphasize the how many did you win, how many did you lose, what's your record. But here at Emmanuel College, we want a student life to know true life. And, and for us, that means life in Christ. So as a coach in this area, uh, talk to us about you, about family, about faith in Christ. Well, um, I'm I'm, obvi- I'm married. Uh, I have two kids, uh, two boys. Uh, at this point, one is uh, almost three, and one and my youngest son just turned one. Uh, Cole and Kale. Um, they uh, they are you know they are my they are my life. Uh, one of the one of the philosophies that that I try to live by with the with my family and i try to inspire in the kids uh, the players that i coach is um you know god is definitely first um uh, family second and then then comes soccer or work or school or however it may be um and you know that my my family has been extremely extremely supportive uh of of what i get to do 